Hey, my name is Lamar Peterson. Um, retired boxer, former world champion. I'm looking to get back into the sport and just uh, uh, in, in a coach's role. And uh, I look forward to this journey and uh, hopefully it, it, it go exactly the way I expect it to go. I love boxing. And of course, you know, we all had that window where you fight and then eventually you have to retire, right? And then, uh, so after 16 years of being a professional fighter, I just gave myself a three year window. But then after a year went by, I was like, you know how life is. You could plan one thing and it's always good to have a plan in life, but life started sending you somewhere and life started knocking at your door, I guess. And boxing was knocking at my door and I had to answer. Still into this boxing game, just not as a fighter. Um, coming in as a, a, a as a trainer, as a coach, and just coming with a different approach. Um, just coming with um, a different mindset and just coaching. And I think uh, when the fighters start competing and fighting, I think that uh, the fans will enjoy it. I really wanted to take some time to uh, just bring something to the sport that I feel like sometimes get overlooked. Um, so just for me to be the best coach that I can be. And that was just to uh, study nutrition and study the science behind exercise. Because I think those are two key things that, as a boxing coach, you can understand how to fight and teach the, the, the technical part of boxing. But I wanted to pay attention to the nutrition part because I know that's this is a sport where you really you it's a weight it's weight classes and you have to make weight and most people choose to cut weight over gaining weight or staying at the same weight that they naturally are, right? And I understand that process uh, that that choice. And so a lot of times we are choosing to lose 20, 30 pounds uh, of weight to fight. And I think with understanding nutrition a little more, if a fighter decides to do that, I can help out in a way where you kind of get that done, but in a safer fashion, not the traditional way like most would do it. Um, I think those things matter when it comes to fighters' health and just um, keeping them safe and giving them the best chance to win a fight. Um, giving them every opportunity to win the fight to make sure they get in that ring and they be healthy. Same thing with uh, personal training. Uh, just understanding the science behind exercise. Um, yeah, I've exercised my whole life, of course, as a boxer, but I can't quite say that I understood exactly how to get my body in shape. It was still more of the mentality of uh, the man who worked the hardest win, and that's the mentality I took on. But we, I think it would be beneficial to know exactly why we're doing this exercise. What are the benefits we, we stand, uh, stand to gain from this? And just try to make it make sense. So when going through a training camp, you can utilize that time more efficiently um, to not overdo things. And, and I'm glad I did it that way because um, I was able to see some clear things where I feel like things can, things can change. Um, and just for the best. When it comes to preparing for a fight, um, understanding the science behind exercise, knowing that certain things were, to me, what, I, what I've noticed is certain things are getting, uh, certain things not being addressed or touched on or, or improved on as far as conditioning, and certain things are getting overtrained or overdone on one aspect. So just trying to make everything make sense there. And again, just for me, to be the best coach that I can be. Not to be the best coach out here and I'm, is really not competing with anyone, but I just want to be the best that I can be. So I gave myself that three-year window, but honestly, when I opened that door and just was studying and just going through the whole thing, everything came to me much faster than I thought that I would. So I think I'm totally confident in just taking this way and taking my mindset the way I want to go about these things and bringing it to the sport.